everyone! DIY Craft Hub here to show you how to make my puka charm. So for my puka charm you're going to need black bands, tan bands, and you're going to need some red bands. So let's get started. You're going to start with your loom facing towards you. And you're going to start by putting two tan bands on the center going up. You're going to place two tan bands in the center going to the right. You're going to do the same thing for the left side. Okay, now you're going to place double bands on all three rows. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing again, putting double tan bands on the next three rows. Okay, you're going to do the same thing again just for the middle side, or the middle. Now you're going to go from the bottom of the middle and up to the right. And again from the same middle peg up to the left. Okay, and we have our head shape. Now you're going to take two tan bands and place them in the center going down for the neck. And now it's time to move on to our red bands. So you're going to take two red bands and you're going to go up from the left to the center. Then you're going to go from the middle up to the center. You're going to go on the left side. Now these are all double bands. Now you're going to go from the center down to the right. Her dress is going to look kind of weird for now, but it'll sh shape up later. You're going to put two bands on each row. You're going to put double bands again. on the left side just like that now you can put on uh, we're gonna put our cap bands on so the first cap band is gonna go on this peg and you're going to try and wrap it around four times if you can't do four do three so here's one two three four so if your bands don't let you do four, then just do three, so you don't snap it on when you're looming. So here's one, two, three, four. Okay, now you're going to place another cap band. This one's going to be doubled, so you can double it right here. And we're going to put it onto these top three triangle pegs here. Alright, now it's time for us to put on her shoes. So you're going to take some black bands. We're going to make her shoes. So take a black band and you're going to wrap it around your um, hook about three times. Or you are going to do three times. One, two, and then that's three. So it should be there three times. Okay, so put on, um, sorry, let it focus. Okay, put on two bands and slip those three through the two bands here. You're going to put your hook through 
So you have your foot. Now you're going to take two red bands. You're going to pull those red bands through all four of these black bands. And, and then you are going to then take off take it off of your hook and carefully grab it just like so and we're going to place it on the loom and we're going to make an M shape right here perfect we're going to do the same thing again so grab it wrap it three times take another two black bands focus and you're going to pull them through. It's just crooked. I'm trying to straighten it out. Okay, and then you're going to take two red bands. This is not a good focus. Okay. And then you're going to pull it through. And then I'm going to now take her other leg and make sure the shoe is not pointing up. You want the shoe pointing down. I'm going to do the other M shape. Perfect. Okay, so we made her shoes. Now we can make the arms. They're going to go over here and here. So for the arms, what I start is taking a tan band for the hand. And basically, you're going to double the tan, don't forget, and then we're going to put it onto this bottom, two, on these bottom two pegs, except you're going to make a figure eight shape. So it's doubled, and it's a figure eight. Now you're going to take another red band, double it, put it on, then you're going to take your hook, and for this part, the normal rainbow loom is to go in, moved is to go inside here, but I'm going to go on the outside for this. And then again. You can double it before you put it on. It's easier so it doesn't get all twisted. And then pull these two over and pull these two over from the outside. Okay, so that's all you're going to do. And pulling you put your hook in through the bottom. Take it off and then go in and take it off. So you have your first hand slash arm. Okay, so you're going to put it right here. And you notice that there's four bands there. You're going to want to get all four on to the peg. Perfect. So repeat the step again. So this one's going to go into this middle, onto this middle peg here. So make sure you get all four bands to go on. What? Okay, yeah, you want to make sure that all four are on there, otherwise you're going to lose a band um, in the arm. So, we have your legs, arms, we have to put our eyes on. We're going to take a black band, you're going to go from this peg to this peg, except you're going to go underneath this one. Perfect. All right, now it's time to make her buns or her hair. So we're going to take our black bands and basically uh, you're going to turn your loom around. Very important. Now you're going to take two black bands and put them on the peg below her dress going up. And this is basically a starburst, but it's a single starburst. Um, and you'll see what I mean. 
So if you've done Starburst before, you know how to... This looks familiar to you. We're going to make the border. You go from the middle to the right. You're going to go up on the right side, and then from the right side up to the center. Okay, so now you take the middle to the left. We're making the border. Go up, and then you go up again. Now that we've made the border, you can make your starburst. So I go from the middle to the right, middle down to the right. So you're basically going in a clockwise motion all around. And I push the bands down each time because you're building a lot of bands on there. Okay, and then you're going to uh, put a cap band in the middle and I wrap it around three times here, which is, a, is different than the starburst. So there's one, two, and three. Perfect, now it's time to loom her bun. You're gonna turn your loom around and you are going to want to go inside of all of these three bands and you're going to grab this first band right here. So go in, grab that band, pull it around, and hook it right there. Now you're going to grab um, this band right here. Now the next one is this one right here. So now we're going counterclockwise. Next one is this one. Next one is this one. And that's only if you put them on the way I did. So then your next one should be this one. Okay, now it's time to get the border. So we're gonna grab this band right here. That should be on your top. You put them on how I did. Um, you're gonna grab the other side. And just loom the border all the way around. Okay, now you're gonna push these down. Um, you're going to grab these bottom two bands that are through all of those. So you're going to go inside all of those, grab the bottom two, and pull them up here. So once you've done that, you can stick your hook into the, these four bands here. Make sure you've got all four. And you can take your bun off the loom. Okay, so once you have um, your bun, you'll notice that there's um, two different sides this side, okay, so basically you're going to take it off of the hook and then flip it around and put it on the other way. And then I push her bun shape up more, so it's a cute little bun. And we're going to put that right here and the other one's going to go on the other side. So make sure you get all four bands onto that peg. Perfect. And at this point you can put on her hair band. So, I'm going to wrap it around twice, so her hair doesn't fall out, fall down, stays in a neat little bun. Okay, now turn your loom around again, take another two black bands, and we're going to make her second bun. Perfect, now you're going to flip it around. and shape. Now you can place the bun right here. So put all four bands and make sure you flip the bun around on your hook before you place it on. And there you go. Now we're going to put on her other hair tie and you're going to wrap it around twice. Make her hair nice and pretty. Okay, so now it is time to loom. So once you have finished putting all of your bands on your loom, it is now time to begin hooking. So you can start on the bottom. 
and you're going to go into your cap bands here. You're going to grab the bottom two bands. So go inside and grab the bottom two. Go up. You're going to go inside, grab the bottom two, and go up. Now you're going